Hi, my name is Coach Tyler Stevens. Now I'm Coach Paul Lampa. And today we're going to be doing different things to do at home with weight training. Just like in the first video, we showed y'all how to do uh, healthy eating habits. Today we're going to put those healthy eating habits in force by doing workouts at home. Any age, any fitness level, using household items that everyone has. You could use water bottles. You can use books. I've got a backpack. You'll see what, what I do with this. You can use canned goods. Anything you have at home. You don't need fancy equipment like we have here. This is for everybody, any level. So let's get started. Okay, we're gonna do an entire body workout in 15 to 20 minutes, right? We're gonna start with the shoulders and work our way all the way down. So coach is gonna demonstrate using weights. If you don't have weights, don't worry about it. We're gonna show you an alternative, but we're gonna do the side laterals and the front laterals. I'll let him begin. We wanna make sure too that you're going as go up. We tell our baseball kids and football kids, you wanna explode up and come down slow. Okay, so both ways, explode up, come down slow, you wanna isolate your shoulders. And notice his elbows are ear level, not the weight. It really doesn't matter where the weight is as long as the elbow is ear level. Gotta remember that. And you do this for a minute, minute and a half, you could alternate like he was doing, or you can do, let's do some household items. Let's say you don't have weight. Water jugs, they could be empty, fill them up, okay? Same thing, my elbows, ear level. You wanna to come to the front. If that's too heavy, do one. And also too, if the water bottle is too heavy, you can always fill, fill it up halfway. Halfway. It's just like a regular weight. So if you have 10 pound weights and it's too heavy, you wanna go down a little bit to a five, you can do that with that. Or you can get a big book, small book. Grab that's your the kids' textbooks. And the same exact workout. And if it's too light and you don't have anything heavier, higher reps. Always think that way. All right, guys, we started off with the shoulders, chest. Now we're moving down to biceps. First workout is curls. We're right here, nice and easy. Nothing to it. The second exercise you could do for biceps is hammers. Basically, you flatten out the weight, come down, same exact motion. Just like we said earlier, these are weights if you have them. Great. If you don't have them, same thing we use for shoulders. Household items. You can Again. use jugs. Like we said, if it's too heavy, halfway fill the jug, three fourths, one fourth, whatever is easier for you. See, Coach Longclose is basically doing the hammers right there. Some people like singles, and that's fine. <clears throat> Double. Okay. Single. And the difference between the hammers is the shape, the motion of your wrist. So you're right here. Going up like that, that's a hammer. If you're doing a curl, it's flat. That's a basic way to distinguish between the two exercises. All right, we're steadily moving down the body. Now we're gonna do abs, okay? It's about to be pool season, so you can uh, get some ab crunches. Basic exercise, sit back like this, feet crossed, come up as high as you can like this. Best thing to do is make sure your back is still on the ground, nice and easy. Easy workout, like we talked about before. If you're advanced, you could do more. If you're not advanced, make sure you're lowering your reps, slowly building up to that point where you can do way more. And look, if your neck starts to hurt, which is very common, just crisscross your arms. Don't do this with your neck. Look, my neck does not have to move much. My neck is not moving. So basically think about it this way, from your elbows up, keep your Zero. body still. Don't you do want this. to keep your body still. Keep it still from your elbows up and make sure everything's moving forward. And your shoulders come off the ground three inches, that's it, okay? Believe it or not, that's a full crunch. Now we get to legs, we work our way down. Every body part, abs, arms, shoulders, chest, well, the legs. Strongest body part, to me, the most important, without your legs, you're aging like me, you don't want joint problems, you wanna be able to have a nice, healthy life, a mobile life, okay? This guy may want big legs to impress the ladies, but maybe that's not quite my intention, okay? So we're gonna start with the basic squat. So all you gotta do is get about parallel, get a shoulder width, line them up a little bit, 
and I'm just right here. You, have, you almost want to stick your arms out too, maybe for balance. I'm right here, going straight up, straight down. Straight up, straight down. You do that for a minute? If you haven't done it for a minute, try it with your own body weight. It will work you out. If you're a little more advanced, household items. Here's our old water jug. Here's a backpack that's lying around everybody's house. And you can put stuff in there. Put a book in here, put a water jug, put some canned goods in here. Put anything you can. Basically, coach strap is, it on. Coach is making it like our racks that we have here. So we use a bar to squat. You might not have that at your house. You might not have a rack. So we're gonna put the book sack on. Now you're adding 10, 15 pounds. Right here. And I have weighted. Okay, now we're on our last body part of the video. We're gonna do the calves, okay? The simplest way to do it is get on the floor. I'm like this, straight up, straight down. All I'm doing is moving the back of my foot. Heels going up. Another way to kind of advance it a little bit, like we've been saying, you have household items, just have a board, steps, um, the edge of a chair, anything like that that sits flat on the surface. Putting the uh, tips of my feet on there, edging up like this, okay? If you don't have good balance, we have a box. This is basically what we use for jumps, but it could be a chair, a table, anything like that. Nice and easy, lifting up, coming straight back down, but I'm able to hold and stay balanced. If you want to advance it more like we've been doing with household items, Coach Longclose has our backpack we were using earlier, and he's able to do the exact same workout, but now it's weighted. He can also use a step right here, chair, whatever we have to hold on to, and he's able to have nice, easy calf raises. All the way up, and all the way till your heels hit the ground, okay? Not this. That's not doing anything for your calves, okay? You do this for a minute, trust me, your calves will burn. Hope you enjoyed this video and we gave you nice household ways to exercise and get better health and uh, have better ways to work out. Remember, each exercise, a minute. When you get more advanced, maybe up it to a minute and a half. It should last about 15 minutes, any level, any age. And we appreciate you watching. And if you keep working out like this, one day you could look like Coach Amon.